Okay, this is the post step 60-256 and the numbering uh, should be understood in the following way that the 60 is because it's 6 amp and the 256 is because it can do uh, micro stepping up to 1 over 256. Um, it's a fairly small uh, card. You have uh, it measuring little less than 8 times 5.5 or so. Um, and you have some connectors on it. You have the power here, plus is this one over here. And then you have the block with 5 here, which is for the two coils, uh, A and B. And then in the middle you have uh, one where you can connect your shield, if you use a shield cable to uh, go to your stepper motor. On the other side um, you have uh, the output uh, with the step and DR signals going uh, to back to the controller or coming from the controller, this is this one. Uh, and then you have the USB uh, connection here. This one I haven't figured out, it's not documented in the manual but it says RS185 on it. Uh, but I actually have to admit that I don't know what it's the purpose of this one is. And then this one is uh, the bus, uh, because Pokies has a bus system uh, where you can uh, basically connect things and uh, you have two-way communication. So if this is the one you connect to your controller, then you can get the step and deer and all the other information coming from the uh, controller. But you can also send, send information back like temperature and other things back to the controller. So this is a two-way. It requires that you give each of your stepper controllers uh, a unique address. Uh, otherwise, uh, of course, it will not know which of the stepper controllers you need to uh, communicate. All the setup, so how many amps, the micro stepping and so on, is done in a program, and I'll show you it in a bit. Uh, so you need to connect it to the uh, USB here. Under normal operation, uh, you would of course have your data being sent, but this is also possible to run it as a standalone stepper. So uh, you can ask it uh, to uh, run a number of steps and then wait for some time and do uh, some other steps. So you can actually make small uh, programs on it uh, and then it will not require any external interference from anything. So it can actually run a small machinery of some kind on its own without any further uh, uh, computer or anything to, to control it. Yeah, so now I have connected uh, the stepper driver to uh, power. There's a PSU standing over here, it's a 40 volt. Uh, and the stepper, uh, and I have one coil here and another coil here. From the manufacturer's homepage you can download uh, the software and the user manual. And the software is this uh, PostEP60. Uh, and this is the one I have running here in the background. Right now you can see it's a little gray because I haven't connected the uh, stepper driver to the USB yet. So let's try to do that. And maybe you could see that uh, some of the signals starts to lit up here. You have a series of uh, LEDs in the power. And now um, on the computer we can see that now we're actually getting a temperature signal uh, back from the stepper driver. However, uh, still uh, we have a voltage of zero and that's because I haven't powered up the uh, power supply yet. So let's do that. And then back on the computer uh, we can now see uh, that we get data back from the card. So we are getting uh, the onboard voltage. Uh, I said it was a 40 volt, it measures 41. And then I also get the uh, temperature uh, on the board. Um, inside this program, you have the options, different options, uh, driver setup, stepper controller, and a lot of other things. And uh, we will at least try a few of them. Right now we can see the, the driver status. And you can select default configuration. And you can also set customer and we can set a current and um, this current uh, is the max 
and uh, the motor is a 3 amp, so we can put it at 3. Idle means that if it, there's no action, then it will go down to a lower amperage. Uh, this is 1. And if you come above the set temperature of like here 85, then it will actually reduce it to half an amp. You can assign a name. And then there are also some advanced parameters here that uh, in the manual they actually discourage you to uh, uh, move around with. If you use the um, the data bus, this is where you this is where you put the address of it, uh, and then you need to secure that each of your different stepper drivers have a unique address. None of this will actually come into force before you set write to driver. And we've done that now. So now we will, we will be running three amps, uh, and you can then play with it here. Uh, put uh, that's maybe a little high, 24, 21,000, and then you can start moving. Yeah, some of the other things here. Here's a picture of the connection about a lock. A lot of things are happening. And here's a lock chart. And here we can see how the amperage are going. So whenever we have action, we have the 3 amp. And then it goes down quickly to the 1 amp. And I think that was what we put it for over here. Yeah, going to 1 amp. So um, let's uh, see if we can move the motor and come back to this one. So then it jumps up here. Voltage is constant and the temperature is raising. So now it's uh, in the order of 55. Yeah, okay, so we can see that. 